Jerry Seinfeld said, I will invest an hour to take an eight word sentence and edit it down to five. He knows with his world of comedy, the less words will make his joke or his line funnier. With us, it makes it crisper, more concise, and more memorable. Because if you've heard Patricia Fripp speak before, you know the purpose of speaking is speak to be ra 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 remembered and ra ra repeated. Remembered and repeated. After all, we want our audience, just like when they go to the movies, to go out and say, you have to see the speaker and be able to repeat your key ideas. What did he say? Oh, he said bullet, bullet, bullet and told a great story about such and such. That's what your audience is going to say. We, of course, and uh, Michael has alluded to it, as you're telling your stories, use specific language because specificity builds credibility. And as you look at the transcript of what you actually said, Look at all the non-specific words that you can remove. Look at stuff doesn't really, if you're talking about your expertise or product, really do it justice and build the value of your price. Now, in conversation, everyday life, you start a conversation. There's no planning. You go back and forth. You use non-specific language. You say, things. However, I am suggesting with the, the phrases that are going in your presentation on a regular basis, you pick the right word and internalize it so it flows flawlessly from your lips. For example, Darren, you know, Darren and I had a coaching camp and I was sitting at the back and all our participants were coming up and saying there are three, three things that are going to make you successful, three things that are going to make you do this. And, and I sat at the back of the room and came up with 39 words I thought they probably meant instead. There are three strategies that will make you successful. There are three habits that will make you successful. There are three techniques that will make you successful. Whatever it is, it sounds more valuable. And if we are in the business of being wordsmiths, it is helpful to make our words sound valuable.